Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Today we are going to be playing with incremental static regeneration using Sveltkit and Vercel. It's time to see what all the fuss is about. Let's jump right in. Inside of my repository, I just have a skeleton application. In order to implement ISR on Vercel, the documentation says we need to have a config object exporting out from our pluspage.server. So let's create a pluspage.server. And inside of here, we need to put export const config and runtime. I did already dig around the documentation a little bit and found out, unfortunately, if you want to use ISR, you cannot use the edge runtime. It has to be Node.js, which is quite disappointing for me. Not very happy about that, but it is what it is. And let's set the expiration on this to be, oh, I don't know, 10 seconds. With our config object set, let's go ahead and make a load function. Export async function load. And let's just get, uh, get a random user from the random user API. And then we'll pull out our data. You can console.log it if you want to check it out. And then inside of there, the user comes back inside of an array. So let's pull out the user. And then we'll return the user. Pretty straightforward stuff. Then in the plus page.svelte, let's add a little markup here to make use of this. So let's add a script in there. Then we'll have to export let data. I always like to make sure that everything is reactive. So let's put a dollar sign user equal data dot name dot first. Do this old school. Now let's make a little logic block and if user, then let's go ahead and say, hello user, else we'll say error getting user. Don't forget our other plus sign there. All right, give that a save. Let's fire up your development server if you don't have that going. And there is our user. All right, pretty cool. Now, in order to deploy this to Vercel, attach this to a GitHub repository. Deploying to Vercel is super easy. All you do is inside of your dashboard, click Add New, say Project. And I'm gonna go ahead and just import my repository I'll call this uh, ISR example. We don't have any environment variables or anything of that nature to configure here. So just go ahead and click deploy. Let Vercel do its thing. You'll notice I did not even set the adapter to be Vercel. The adapter is still set to auto. It does increase your build time slightly, but you don't even have to set that. If you are for sure going to deploy to Vercel, you probably would want to set your adapter. But again, you don't have to. So here is our app, pretty cool. So if I keep clicking refresh, it is giving me the cached version as it's supposed to. So looking at the documentation for ISR, maybe I'm missing something here. Uh, the documentation says that uh, ISR is supposed to revalidate the page every 60 seconds. I would think that would mean that it would automatically run the load function again and refresh the page. Looking at the logs, you can see that the load function is in fact uh, rerunning, but the page is not refreshing. So that's interesting. Apparently they leave that part of the implementation up to you. So this would definitely be helpful if you uh, want to restrict a user from clicking refresh a million times and running up a big bill on your Vercel deployment. But it looks like if you want it to 
uh, refresh the data for you, you'll still have to implement that yourself. So one thing we could do if we want to refresh the browser ourselves is we can import a browser from dollar sign app slash environment just after this or before, I guess it doesn't matter, just add a if browser and inside of here, uh, do a set timeout. And inside there, just do a window.location.href. In this case, we're on the home page, so we'll just window.location.href to ourselves. And then just outside of that second bracket there, we need to set a timeout. Let's do something ridiculously short just to see uh, how this works. Let's set this to 10 milliseconds. And then just outside of here, then run that timeout. And then we'll save and push the commit to your GitHub repository so that Vercel will get it. So as soon as you commit your changes to GitHub, you'll be able to come to Vercel and see it automatically grabs the latest commit and will rebuild and redeploy your application, which is super cool. That's one of the reasons why I like working with Vercel. And then we can go give this a shot and see what is going to happen. So this is running, but you'll see uh, it's not running exactly like we intended. So there you can see that we set the timeout there to run every 10 milliseconds. Vercel is giving us that cache version back. It's also kind of interesting. I'm noticing that this is kind of buggy. So there you can see it triggered a few times. So it looks like Vercel still has some bugs to work out, but that is how you implement ISR in your app. Looks like it definitely could still help in order to reduce some server load. So there it is. There's using ISR in your SvelteKit application. Hopefully Vercel will work out these bugs and make this work how we're expecting. A little bit disappointed here that we can't use our Edge runtime environment as well. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more great content like this. Comment below, I would love to hear from you. Take care and as always, have a great day. Thank you.